Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Passy Just Again. This is an episode of PS Freebies. PS Freebies for December 2017 for Asia. Because the games have already been released for the uh, Europe and America, but I haven't actually looked up what the games are for Asia. And the games for December in the U UK and America aren't that great. Um, I already got Darksiders 2 as part of a Humble Bundle not that long ago. And um, the other two games, the Kung Fu Panda multiplayer combat thing, great for kids, I imagine, but uh, not massively of my interest. This looks like a really shitty version of Smash Brothers, and I prefer Brawlhalla for that, to be honest. Um, the other one, Form 8. I think I played Form 8 on this channel as a game ages ago. It would be one of the early indie titles that would have actually been covered on the channel. So um, no big surprises there. It was actually like, don't touch the walls, the game, which is... Uh, Interesting enough concept. There's a lot of games that actually have that same kind of platformy, explorey style. It reminds me of uh, what was it? Jet something or other. It was on the NES. It's like a lunar lander style game where you actually had to like jump from place to place and go down into caves and not touch the walls and shit. Um, yeah, that was remind me of for me. It is very very similar to it. But what we're here to look at is the PS Plus for Asia. So what do we got? I can see a Ratchet and Clank game already, so I'm going like fuck yeah. I haven't played a Ratchet and Clank game in a long ass time. If this is like one of the really recent ones or a remaster of the old ones, that'd be pretty cool. So yeah, literally the Ratchet and Clank one based on the movie. Shit, yeah, that's cool because I actually never once saw the film. Um, I kind of wanted to see the film and apparently this is literally the film with levels played in between. Knack for free. Uh, I already own Knack, which is a little bit disappointing, but Knack 2 is around. People kind of enjoyed the second one over the first one. Dungeon Punks, which uh, I actually already got from another a PlayStation PS Plus. Did we get Dungeon Punks from PS Plus last month? Was that actually included? Last? Fuck yeah! Last Blade 2, so we're getting Neo Geo Classics now as well. I haven't played Last Blade in ages, man. Cool, that's uh, like the Samurai Showdown style game. Russia Blood is still our PSVR game for the month of December. It's That's twice now. Um, Real Shooter with VR, fair enough. And a special car for Gran Turismo Sport. A Ford Focus GR8 or GRB rally car. Great Britain rally car. So yeah, that wasn't uh, too bad. Yeah, Ratchet and Clank, a game that I probably wouldn't have bought for myself, but I'm glad to actually get to sit down and get to play at some point. Um, I do love me a Ratchet and Clank game. Apparently this one's not the best one in the series, but that's kind of because it is very, very heavily limited by its existence as part of the CGI movie that got released as well. And it literally is. Apparently, if you've seen the movie, you've seen the game. If you've played the game, you've seen the movie. You kind of have to do one or the other. So, it was, But I think it's supposed to be probably... It play, applied well to kids because of the repetition. They enjoy the movie so much that you get to play it through it again. And a lot of the cutscenes are literally scenes from the movie. So I'm looking forward to giving that a try because the quality of the CG in the actual movie wasn't bad at all. So, uh, bing. Cool for that. Knack, I have tried to play through to the end maybe five times so far. And it is, it is super, super okay. So it doesn't really kind of like draw their attention that well. And the fact they've actually made Knack 2 recently, which was a pretty decent improvement mechanically, but still also a, uh, it's kind of okay. But I mean, it was a launch title. It was one of the earliest titles for the PS4. It was released for the point of actually showing tessellation of triangles that you could control individually. It looked pretty at its time. But uh, not so much anymore because so many other games have done so much more since. So yeah, it, it felt like an overglorified tech demo, which is... It's, some of those launch titles tend to feel like that. So Knack, obviously, uh, just didn't have the charm we needed. I like the design of the world. I like the concept of the character, but it always felt very forced. Um, it might be better off literally just doing Astro Boy or uh, Adam Boy. Adam Boy, Astro Boy, whatever you want to call him. But yeah, uh, uh, was it... Uh, Oh, God, I was like something like Techikono Adam or something like that is actually the Japanese name for him. But yeah, uh, Ratchet and Clank, happy with that. D uh, Dungeon Punks, we already have. So we can actually literally play that as a, P a PS3 B game very soon. So we should check it out here on the channel whenever it does pop up. In fact, I might put a little ding up there in that corner where you'd actually head for Dungeon Punks because it'll be a linked title. And um, Last Blade, shit yeah. I know it's an old, old, old as fuck game and it's dirt cheap, uh, but... I like seeing those Neo Geo games showing up on PS Plus because they're the kind of games that I probably might not ever put the money into to buy another emulated game like that. Um, I did it a lot in the PS3 era because I like to play the old Sega games that they had on it, like Comic Zone and Streets of Rage and Golden Axe and the original Sonic games. 
but I wouldn't bring myself to do it now on the most modern consoles, especially with there's so many other ways you can play those games. But Last Bid was, is one of those ones that, shit, you don't see that often. And it was a very fun game and gory as well. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing that. In fact, there's a special deal on Guaru Mark of the Wolves. And if I get Last Blade 2, I might actually buy Guaru as well, just because I do love me some old school uh, 2D beat em up Fatal Fury style. And I hope, try, I will attempt to complete an SNK fighting game live on stream. That would be kind of fun to do because the frustration, man. Fuck SNK bosses. Fuck them right in the air. Fuck Rugal. Fuck geese. Fuck whoever the hell's at the end of Last Bid 2, because I don't even goddamn know. But we'll hopefully see them very soon whenever the games come out on PS. But yeah, that was the PS Plus games for December 2017 in Asia. Again, better than most other months in other countries. And in the end up, I got uh, two titles that I'm super hyped for, and the rest of it, I, I'm cool to get it. I'm happy to have it. In fact, I think I actually own NAC on my Hong Kong account already, so that'll be a waste, because I've already purchased it. But outside of that, Zang! Let's check it out whenever they actually are available. Uh, if you want to see more stuff like this on the channel, make sure to subscribe. I do do a PS Freebies video nearly every month. Not every single time, unless there's something like uh, gratuitously like, off the board, and especially with the PlayStation Asia stuff. I tend to do one every single month to just kind of cover the stuff that's actually available and have my opinions talked about it. Especially the fact that I encourage you guys to go and get a 12-month subscription on PS Plus in Asia. God damn, it's cheap. It's like 20 bucks. It was literally like 20 bucks for like four weeks there because they had a special 25% off deal going and you can currently buy if you're at, if you're at all interested in destiny 2 you can buy destiny 2 and the 12 months for the price of buying destiny 2 if you haven't already bought it already which to be honest most people who would be buying it now are late arrivers to the actual horribleness that is destiny 2 but uh yeah you can still buy it for dirt cheap it's like a lot cheaper than most other countries and you get a lot better games month by month and the actual service so yeah uh, thank you very much for watching uh, if you haven't been watching this on youtube maybe a little button up there you can always hit to actually support me there's always going to be a box right here that likes to be other PS freebies. Over the far side will be the most recent video on the channel. And here there will be a video just for you that actually is based on YouTube analytics and the things you do on Google and all that other stuff. Kind of combined together into big data and it picks someone that actually you might be interested in and places it right there. So I'd recommend you click that one, check it out, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye.